Greetings, Professor Nalepa here with Dubspot.com. In this week's Ableton Live tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Slice to MIDI function. Slice to MIDI is a great way to isolate individual sounds out of a drum loop, and it's also a powerful tool for live performance, for remixes, and in the studio. So one of the things I've been doing in my live shows lately is I've actually uh, been playing with a full band. I've got a incredible crew of my former students. It's not over Quebec. Uh, with a talented drummer, guitarist, percussionist, um, and we're doing these live versions of my tracks. So one of the things we've been doing is taking the Glitch Mob remix of my song Monday and sort of doing a recursive remix of a remix in a live context. And we get really heavy with it, and it's been a lot of fun. So one of the things that I'm doing is I'm using the Slice to MIDI function to create the instrument that I end up using and performing with live. So Let's take a look at how you can do that with your own music. So basically drag the audio clip in, um, and this is a track I'm very familiar with. I know it's 95 BPM, so even though Live's doing its best to identify the original tempo, it's saying, oh, it's 94.16, and it has, these warp has all these warp markers in here. I know that it was recorded uh, straight with the metronome um, because it's something that you know I'm aware of going into it. Um, you know, if you're working with, if you're a DJ working with material that's older, like if it was a live band that played, they didn't maybe play to a click, and there's changes in the tempo, then you have to really worry about adding these warp markers and whatnot. But if it's one of your own tracks, or it's a remix of one of your tracks by your friends that you know what the tempo is, um, you, you can just turn this off, uh, turn off the warp, and move the playhead all the way at the beginning, just grab it and slide it all the way over to the left, and then type in up on the top 95 for the BPM. Then you just want to double check and make sure everything is timed up and the ones are starting right on the one. Um, I'm going to turn the metronome on and listen. Now if I look at the clip here, I can see right here after eight bars at bar nine, the drums kick in, and that looks pretty much lined up for me. The real best way to tell is you kind of look where the kicks and the snares are happening and they should be right on point, right on the one. Okay, so now I have this track dropped in here. So here's the trick. I like to go through and take a four bar section of the song and then use slice to MIDI on it and then it gives and chop it up by quarter notes. This basically gives me 16 slices that I can play in order on the beat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, all the way through all 16. And if I play them in a row, it'll be the original track. But then if I want, I can freak out with it and get my Jeremy Ellis on um, and really kind of do some interesting live chopping up and glitching of the of the riff. So let's take a look at how you do that. Um, I'm just going to grab a section here. Let's see what this section sounds like. All right, so let's say I like these four bars and this is what I want to work with. I'm going to highlight the four bar section and then I'm going to go to the edit menu and I choose split. The shortcut for that is Command E, um, and that separates that piece of audio from the rest of the song. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate that into its own unique four bar piece of audio. I can choose Consolidate or Command J from the pull down menu. I can also right click on here and choose Consolidate from that context menu that pops up. So now what I have is this four bar piece of audio. <laughs> that is that loop that I just separated. So now if I right click it, I can choose Slice to New MIDI Track, and now I have the option to uh, create it, and I'm gonna go through and do this as a quarter note setting, um, and it's gonna make 16 beats in the 16 slices, and I'm gonna explore some of these different options for the slicing preset. So you've got a whole bunch of cool things in here to choose from. I'm gonna choose the built-in zero velocity option, and essentially what that's gonna do is no matter how hard I hit the notes on my MIDI controller, it's always going to play the, the sounds at the same velocity. So you can see here it also made a new MIDI clip that's just a bunch of quarter notes broken up. And each slice here 
is broken up and uh, available to me. So I'm going to go through now and grab my MIDI keyboard. And if I play this in progression, it's the original riff. But now I can go and get my freak on and check this out. Right, so you can really kind of experiment that. You can use the pitch bend as well. There's a lot of creative possibilities by chopping up your track and using slice to MIDI and then playing it in live. So if you want to just have the riff go through, what I like to do is do like four or eight bars where we kind of play the whole thing all the way through a couple times and then um, and then cut to a section where we're we're sort of just using little bits and slices and samples and playing them in a rhythmic manner so I highly recommend going through here and exploring those different uh, slicing options uh, let's go through and take this four bar section okay so again just to go over this one more time you're gonna choose split all right and then we're going to right click and choose consolidate and then I'm going to slice this new four bar section here into its a new MIDI track and I'm going to try a different preset here let's try chord and stutter and I hit OK and when I choose a different slicing preset you can see in the macro section here there's going to be different options for the different knobs right so now what I can do um, is I can you know I if I play this in progression, all right, but now you can see there's a variation in the volume depending on how hard I'm hitting my MIDI controller. So there is a way around that if you go to your built-in MIDI effects. Um, I'm just going to go and grab the velocity MIDI effect and drag that on and drop that here. And I can set this mode to fixed and have it so that no matter how hard I hit my MIDI keyboard, the output velocity is always going to be 100. So it's going to play the, the slice at its original volume, no quieter, no louder. So um, no matter how hard or soft I hit that, it's always playing it the same. So now that we have these knobs here, let's go to the MIDI map mode, turn that on, click on the stutter knob, turn that here, uh, and now you can see the value is mapped. I'm going to get out of the MIDI map mode, and I'm going to experiment with the stutter knob. Alright, so there's all sorts of things here. You got different uh, values that you can also map these knobs very easily. Go through and experiment with the different slicing presets. This is an incredible way to chop up uh, tracks that you're working on. If you're doing a remix, take the money four bars of the song you're working on originally, slice it to MIDI, and then play in the beat. Um, you know, it's a great way to take drum loops and easily chop them up so you can play them. MPC style. So I'm Professor Nalepa. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week with another tip on dubspot.com. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.